Hey everybody, it's Pastor Lester and this is FaceTime. Now Paul asks a very important question in Galatians 1.10. He says, am I still trying to gain the approval of human beings or of God? He says, am I trying to please man? He asked that question as well. Well, ultimately he comes to this conclusion. He says, if I'm still trying to please man, then I cannot be a servant of Christ. If I'm still trying to please man, I cannot be a servant of Christ. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is an issue that many of us, as Paul did, battle with. This element of pleasing man, ultimately letting man interpret and dictate who we are in this life. Look, here's the deal. God has called you, first as a spiritual son or a spiritual daughter, he's called you and he's called you for service. But here's the thing, I want you to understand this. He's not only just called the spiritual you or, or the you that he hopes you'll be. God has called all of you, your quirks, your issues, your past, your present, and your future. God, when he calls you as spiritual sons and daughters and to do works, God calls all of you. But if you and I are still letting someone else dictate or interpret our lives or our identity by trying to please man, then we negate, literally build a wall between their interpretation of you <laughs> and God's interpretation of you or God's call on your life. So I want to remind us today, ladies and gentlemen, that our pursuit, our seek, if you will, the word seek just simply means uh, to search for something until it is found. Our pursuit or our seek should be should be who God says we are. This is the mode. This is the identity. This is the perspective by which we should be living our lives. So choose today, ladies and gentlemen, choose today whom you shall seek to please. Either man who is trying to define and identify you based upon their desires, their wants, their needs, their directive, or God who has a plan and a purpose for your life that he says, is a good plan, good thoughts, not to harm you, <laughs> but to be a blessing to you. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And again, this is FaceTime.